Yo, welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum with Justin and Ulam. We've still got some more thugs to take out in the central, I was gonna say square, but it appears this town actually has a uh, town circle. Right. And I imagine we probably still have a few more uh, shadows to snag. Probably. Like maybe none in this current batch, but we'll see, we'll see. Oh, yep, never mind. Ah, skip blue. I mean, yeah, we'll catch it if it doesn't want to happen, but I mean, we're not gonna get it. Uh, let's go for. Yeah, let's go big brain. I, I'm, I'm expecting. A cotton guard or something like that that would be really nice to see. Meanwhile, a super effective Espeon hit ought to take that auto shout without any trouble. Alright, now I'm going to treat. Are you going for an attack or. Ah! It was going for cotton score! But I should. Oh, come on! Can I not steal that? I guess I can only steal buffs, not status limits. Well, that's a pain in the butt. Oh, and apparently I never went because my throttle is taken care of. Oops. Well, dust talk should be easy enough to take out. Well, no. Now it's gonna just taunt the skip loom in that case. <coughs> Odd that that didn't KO. But unfortunately, I am now going to be clearly taunting way too late. <sighs> yeah, can't use Cotton Spore anymore, but odds were not high that it was going to be bothering with that anymore anyway. Oh well. Good fight. No chance of a flinch now that we're slower, but whatever. Yeah! Well, we'll put up a reflect next turn. I need to get rid of this dust star. Ah, I probably should have just bit the dust star now that I think about it. Could have put up a reflect this turn. Oh well. Not a bad amount of damage. You're the fastest. And I taunted you! How are you using that? I'm very confused. Whatever. Alright, looks like one more bite ought to do the trick. So, we'll just waste the turn with Reflect. Ooh, I wasn't remembering about the recoil. That was close! Alright, unfortunately, the big downside is now we really need this to catch. Because if this fails, we could be in a rather rough spot. Oops, that was the wrong button. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, it's on, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We really just need this to catch or else we will probably be failing this capture. I mean, at that low health, it's a skip loom. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Really? How do you even escape? All right, fine. We, we get another shot. We get another shot. Uh, and I get a chance to showcase a little <laughs> sneaky exploit that I'm using. All right. Paralysis didn't matter I turn anyhow. What is this? We still have 11 Pokeballs. 
also, for some reason in this game, if I tell the first turn user, and I do think it has to be in this order, if you tell the first turn user to use the item, it may have to be, I think it has to be a Pokeball, because if you tell it to use an, a healing item, I think it immediately uses it. So I think it has to be like a Pokeball, so that it uses it later in the turn, and you move where it is, due to just the way they programmed it, I'm not going to be using a Pokeball. Which is just kind of handy. And seeing as how you can only throw one in a turn anyway, come on! Seeing as how you can only use one Pokeball per turn anyway, you only really need the one of each kind that you want. You know? Ugh. Maybe it didn't fall for the taunt last time. I shouldn't have used taunt. <laughs> now it's going to only be able to use a uh, shadow rush, which will kill it. So I have just done goofed. I should have been using snatch the whole time. Unless this catches, which I mean, seriously, come on, you stupid skip loon. Give me a big fat break! There we go! That's what I'm talking about. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, well. We pretty severely need to go heal up. No. Turning you down right here and now. And we're just gonna do a real quick PC refresh. I don't know when this stopped, but I know that in the current generation eight, we are no longer able to use the PC box to heal Pokemon. But as of certainly this gen, if you deposit, and I don't know how far out you need to go, but for safety's sake, I'm just gonna, or for ease of use sake, I'm just gonna go all the way out and then withdraw, depositing them, resets. And like I said, I think they did change that. No, I know they've changed it by now, but I don't remember exactly when the cutoff is. If it was like seven or uh, four maybe. Oh, not pro it was definitely not four, but it might have been five. What am I saying? It might have been six, it might have been seven. Uh, but he was definitely by eight, but I'm pretty sure he was gone as of seven, too. All right, so what we're gonna want to do is do a quick little swap a -rooney. Bada bing! All right, so how far are you from? Ay, 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 this beyond needs a lot of XP to catch up. Umbreon, on the other hand, is about half a level away from being able to start swapping in some of these level 30s so they can get a real head start. And the only one of them is Makuhiro's, uh, as we see, has only gained focus energy, which without any other moves is not really going to be that great. Although hypothetically, if he uses focus energy and then goes into hyper mode, I mean, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I should have saved. I should have saved. Nope, we're not being dumb dumbs. We're gonna save. But what I was saying, uh, I don't know how much hyper mode increases your crit chance. Whoops. Apparently, weren't looking at the PC enough. But uh, focus energy gives you two stages. So assuming that hyper mode, conservative guess one stage, which would be three stages, which in Gen 3 is not, I mean, it's pretty good, but especially if th if uh, Hyper Mode gives you two stages on top of the Focus Energy two stages, uh, I think four stages back, in, I think four stages has always been max, which uh, as of Gen 6, if you have four stages, that just caps out, you're gonna crit. Uh, but as of gens 5 and back, 
I think max is only like 80% chance, which is still really good. <coughs> oh goodness, another uh, part of the Quag Sire. Unfortunately, a good ground water might be a little too valuable to pass up. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take these others out. Hmm. I'm not super effective against any of them. And I kind of expect the Quag Sire to use Shadow Rush, so... Let's go ahead and put up a Reflect. Meanwhile, I'm not expecting either of them to do anything... Uh, that Taunt would be worth it on. So let's just go ahead and fight. Can we get a flinch? Ooh, pretty good damage, too. Flinch? Nope, didn't quite flinch. And the fact that the move is going off means, yep, he did not use it on the dark type, but he did use it on someone who resists it with high special defense. Oh, he was going for a physical attack. Haha! <laughs> Turns out that reflect was clutch. I mean, it wasn't super necessary, but it was certainly, uh, what is the term I'm looking for? It was not rectified, it was justified there. Alright, so does this hold knock him out? Yep. Alright, so the bite will actually be... Oh! No, he might actually call out the next Pokemon in first, so we might actually end up biting whatever comes out. We'll just have to see. Nope, it does go before, so we'll bite the Quack Sire. Ooh, and we got a crit! That's about half health. Ah, he got smart and <laughs> decided to raise that special defense. Well, that'll only help us because we don't want to not- Oh! Down the end too. Alright, well that's handy. Hmm. We'll go ahead and go for a confusion and a bite, expecting that with that sharp raise. Alright, yep, good. Alright, so with that sharp raise, he will resist this well enough. Alright. One more bite looks like what we're looking for. Yep, and Shadow Rush is explicitly a good grief. Well, unless that knocked him into red. No, not quite. Actually, if he's going to be using that almost at all anymore, we need to go ahead and start... Ah! So apparently that trick either I forgot to use it, or on that last turn that we actually caught, or perhaps... If it succeeds, you actually do end up still using the Pokeball. Curious. Go for Snatch anyway. Alright, I mean, look at that. I mean, Yellow Health. We stand I mean, yeah, there's a chance. There's a definite chance. Hey! Well, that was a pretty handy little battle. Alrighty, and with that, have we cleared out? Uh oh. Alright, well, we should have enough time, depending on how long this goes. If it's a nice quick battle, especially if there's no shadows, so we're just knocking things out, we should have time. No shadows, just come on, no shadows, no shadows. Or else easy shadows, I guess like the last one we can find. Not such a shadow. Slugma, huh? Yeah, he's Garbo, so... We'll probably still try to catch him, but uh... Not because we really want him. Skadoosh! Alright. Good thing I went for a double attack into that slot. Down goes the Azuril. Alright, and it is with buff. Alright, makes sense, makes sense. But our special defense should be plenty high enough to ignore that. Goodness! Or maybe never mind. Well, good grief! Do confusion immediately buff, hoping for a one shot. And uh yeah, we're gonna use a super potion, I think. Goodness! Hopefully he doesn't go for any of that nonsense again. Come on. Ah! Not quite. Use it on Umbreon! Ah. Man, the 
this guy stinks. Ugh. You're attacking this down too, aren't you? You little jerk. Ah. Alright, this time, go ahead and heal yourself. And this is eating through a lot of our <laughs> potions. And go ahead and fight. Ay, 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 ay. And a swap them, huh? Alright, alright. Man, I don't like you. You know what? I shouldn't have gone for the double attack into that slot. But you know what? If it knocks him out, it knocks him out. He's earned it. Yeah. No. Bye, Slugma. Slugma's garbage anyway. No, 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 no. Bye, Slugma. you're attacking Espeon, and of course you get a critical hit. Alright, you going down this turn though, buddy boy. Maybe not. Oh dear. Nuts. And of course, you wouldn't be bothered to attack Umbreon, would you? Oh good, Espeon survived. Excellent. We get one more turn, and we get to have that EXP! Alright. Well. Oh well. Bit of a missed opportunity with that Slugma, but I believe there is still a way to catch ones you miss uh, in the end game, which is the only time when a slugma would be useful, because during battle, no. But once we unlock the ability to use the purification system, yeah, okay, by then it would be a little bit of a missed opportunity, but ah, oh well. Serves them right. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Whoop. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and save. Alright, and that is actually where we're going to go ahead and call this episode. So, so, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Yo! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and leave a comment so I know you want more videos like this. If you want to know when new uploads arrive, subscribe and hit the bell icon to have YouTube send you a notification. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.